Three UFO been shot, one over Alaska, Lake Huron, and Canada. Alien, no alien. <laughs> I, I don't think it's aliens, no. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I do find the, the whole question of, of aliens um, a very interesting one. Uh, you know, what is typically called the Fermi paradox, which is that if the universe is really as old as, it, as science seems to think, think it is, and as and the, the, where are the aliens? Um, if, or have we really been around for 13.8 billion years? If so, where should, shouldn't there be aliens all over the place? Um, why do we, the crazy thing is I've seen no evidence of of alien technology or any alien life whatsoever, um, and I think I, I think I'd know. Um, you know, SpaceX. We, we do a lot. I mean, I think I know. I don't think anyone knows more about space, you know, than, than me, or at least the space technology. Um, so, but I think it's actually a troubling thing if there are no aliens as, as well, which is that, all, uh, that they, what, what that actually could mean then is that uh, so, sort of civilization and consciousness is like a tiny candle in a vast darkness and, and, and a very vulnerable tiny candle that could easily get blown out. Um, and I think we should therefore take great care with what may very well be this tiny candle in a vast darkness and make sure that it does not go out and that we extend the light of consciousness beyond Earth um, and do everything we can to ensure that uh, the light of consciousness does not go out. I mean, you've been running Twitter as, as the chairman, as the owner, as the CEO. And that's take a lot of time. Did you identify a CEO? and when you are going to hire him? Well, um, I, I think I need to um, stabilize the organization um, and just make sure it's in a uh, financially healthy place um, and that the, the, the product roadmap is clearly laid out. Um, so, I don't know, I, I'm guessing probably towards the end of this year um, which would be good timing to um, find uh, someone else to run the company. Because uh, I think it should be in a stable position around, uh, you know, at the end of this year. Uh, uh, that, you know, th three to five years is actually worth a lot. Uh, so, I mean, to be frank, I was a little worried about the direction that, and the, and the effect uh, of social media on the world, and especially Twitter. And um, I, I thought it was very important for that it be a maximally trusted sort of digital public square um, where people, you know, within countries and internationally could communicate uh, with, um, you know, uh, the, the least amount of censorship uh, allowed by law. Uh, obviously, that varies a lot by jurisdiction, but I think in general, um, you know, social media companies should adhere to the laws of, of countries and not try to put a thumb on the scale beyond the laws of countries. Um, so, and I, I, mean, I think this is something that is probably agreeable to um, the, uh, you know, the, le the legislators and, and the people of most countries. So, so I, th I think it's, that's the general idea, is just um, to reflect the values of, of the people um, as opposed to imposing the values um, of essentially San Francisco and Berkeley, um, which are so, somewhat of a niche ideology um, as compared to the rest of the world. And, but, but, you know, Twitter was, I think, doing a little too much to impose um, a niche, uh, uh, you know, San Francisco, Berkeley ideology on the world. Um, so, you know, I, I thought the, it was important kind of for the future of civilization to try to correct that uh, thumb on the scale, if you will, um, and, and, uh, and, and just more, have Twitter more accurately reflect, uh, like I said, the, the values of the, the, the people of Earth. Um, that's, the, that's, the, that's the intention, um, and uh, hopefully we succeed in, in, in doing but that. But how do you see Twitter, if we, we say it five years down the road, what's your vision for, for this platform? What, sh what should it do? Well, I think it would be, I'd like to 
you know, I have this sort of long-term vision for something called uh, X.com from back at, way back in the day, uh, which is kind of like a, a um, sort of like an everything app um, it, where it's just maximally useful. It does, you know, payments, uh, it does, um, uh, so it provides financial services, provides information flow, um, really anything digital. Um, and, um, you know, also provides secure communications. Um, so, that, uh, really, to, 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 to uh, you know, I think you know, be, be as useful as possible, as entertaining as possible, um, and uh, also to be like a, a source of, of truth. Like, if you want to uh, find out what's going on and what's really going on, um, then you could, should be able to go on, 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 you know, X, the X app, and um, and, and find out. So it's a sort of source, a sort of a, a source of truth, and a maximally useful, I guess, app is about the wrong word, but system. Um, and and twi Twitter is essentially an accelerant to that sort of maximally useful everything app. Um, one thing I should say, on, and I know this is called the World Government Summit, um, but um, I think we should be maybe a little bit concerned about uh, actually becoming too much of a single world government. Um, if, if I may say that we want to avoid creating a civilizational risk by having, um, frankly, this may sound a little odd, too much cooperation between governments. Um, you know, if you know, if you look at say the at history and the rise and fall of civilizations, um, the, the really all throughout history civilizations have risen and fallen. But it hasn't meant the doom of humanity as a whole because there've been there've been all these separate civilizations that were separated by great distances. And so, um, you know, say like while Rome was falling, it, uh, it you know. Uh, Islam was rising, and uh, so you had like a, uh, you know, the the sort of caliphate do, doing incredibly well, while Rome was doing terribly, um, and that actually ended up being a source of preservation of knowledge uh, and and, uh, and many uh, scientific advancements, and so, um, so I think we want to be a little bit cautious about uh, being too much of a world of a single. Uh, Civilization, because if we are too much of a single civilization, then if, if, we, if the whole the whole thing may collapse. Um, now I'm not, obviously not suggesting war or anything like that, but I think we want to be a little bit wary of actually cooperating too much. It sounds a little odd, but um, but we, we just we, we want to have some amount of civilizational diversity, such that if uh, if something does go wrong with some part of civilization, that the whole thing doesn't uh, collapse. Uh, and, 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 you know, humanity keeps uh, going. Elon, we have over 150 government within the World Government Summit, uh, global leaders. They have 8 billion customers, their citizens. How government can use Twitter better to serve its citizens? Yeah, um, well, I, I think generally... Um, I would recommend, um, you know, really communicating a lot uh, on Twitter, um, and uh, I, I think it's good for people to speak in in their voice as opposed to how they think uh, they should speak. You know, like, um, you, you know, sometimes like people think, well, I, I I should speak in this like way that is expected of me. But, but it, it ends up sounding, I think, somewhat, at times, somewhat stiff but, and, and, and not, not real. Um, you know, like if you read a press release from a corporation, it just sounds like propaganda. So I would like, encourage uh, CEOs and, um, of companies and, uh, you know, legislators and, um, you know, ministers and so forth to, to speak authentically uh, uh, and to, you know, if there's a say a particular policy to explain it um, and um, and I, I think there's you know sometimes a concern about criticism but I, I think at the end of the day you know having some some criticism is is fine you know it's not that it's really not that bad um, um, I mean I, I, I'm constantly attacked on, on Twitter frankly um, and I, I don't mind uh, it's it's um, you know 
you have to be somewhat thick-skinned, I suppose, at times. You know, just because you're gonna, they're, they're really will try to twist the knife. Um, but, but I, but I think, I think, just like I said, just uh, as a, as a forum for communication, um, it, it's great, and um, and I would just encourage more communication, um, and and like I said, to 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 sort of speak in an authentic voice, like like sometimes people will have someone else be their sort of Twitter manager or something like that. And I think uh, you should just, people should just do their own tweets, you know? <laughs> it sounds, okay. uh, it, it, and, and like sometimes you, you make a mistake or something, it's fine. Um, but I think just doing your own tweets, just like you would do your own, you know, you'd give a talk here or you would, you know, have a meeting at a summit or something. Uh, I think that, that's, that's the way to do it is, is to actually do, do the tweets yourself, um, and um, and co convey the message that you want di directly. Um, 